Cheers, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon and Booze. It's Monday. It's our oddity day. Hopefully you enjoy these days. These are days that we do non-whiskey, so it's gins and vodkas and aperitifs and rums, tequilas. I'm not saying anything. Okay. <laughs> he always comes up with something new. So uh, hopefully you like what we do and you hit that like and subscribe. It does mean a lot to us. We're nearing 500 subscribers, so that's really cool. I mean, exciting for me. Not for you. You don't watch. You're not even subscribed. We have a YouTube channel? <laughs> Running gags since day one. He's always that way. All right. So today is a Monday, so we're going to look at a gin, a gin that is not available in the U.S., I don't think, right? Still not available. Um, and this is something that you'll have to get probably on a uh, duty-free or if you're in the UK or uh, Mexico, I actually think this was found in Mexico. And that's the Beef Eater Blood Orange Gin. The Blood Orange Gin. Have you had this yet? No. I like Beef Eaters. I like Blood Orange. And I think last week we did another kind of colored vodka mm -hmm. and usually gin is not colored so i think well beef we... eater has a large selection of gins and a lot of flavored gins like this um i like the beef eater plain you know the normal traditional yeah it's pretty decent um we've tried uh the blackberry or blueberry can't remember and i didn't really care for that but it was still clear no, it wasn't. Was it? Was and it? then we've tried another beef feeder. It was um, a strawberry beef feeder, and it was okay. Maybe I was drunk. And then there's another one that we've tried. Um, I can't even remember the name of it. It was kind of weird. It's a weird name. And but I'm, this is the uh, blood orange. And I'm just wondering if they just add color to different shape. They all the, flavor different. Because all the flavored like vodka, most of the flavored vodkas are still clear and stuff. And mm -hmm. But this is, I mean, we've already dipped into it. It's Somebody's already, but didn't invite me up to do it. It's definitely um, flavored. So this is, like I said, the Beef Eater Blood Orange Gin from the Beef Eater Distillery outside of London. It is $23.99, which is pretty decent. This is for a liter bottle uh, that uh, you get it. I think this was picked up at duty free by one of our friends. What is it? 75 proof? Or no. I haven't said. Oh. It's 37.5% or 65 proof. And, and no age statement. Yeah, that's kind of low for proof because most of the flavored stuff well, is like Well, I 70. think when you see that it's lower than your expected proofage, it's because they're taking their normal stuff and then they're, they're down-proofing the it with the flavor. Yeah. But most of the flavor stuff is like 70 proof. Yeah. It's 75? Somebody says so. This says 37.5% by volume. Hmm? 37 would be... 60, or that's what I said. Oh, I said 65. I'm sorry. 75%. 75. So this is a higher proof. Math is not my specialty. It's 75%. You didn't go to school for math? But still, it's been downgraded, I would assume. Uh, no age statement. It actually has a wonderful flavor. Or aroma. Or aroma, sorry. A wonderful aroma. Yeah. I'm still doing the math in my brain. And blood, blood oranges... If you can find them in the store, they're really good. Okay. I've never... never you've never had a blood orange? I don't think orange. I've ever had a blood orange. Yeah, they're they're good. We've made blood orange uh, cello, and that didn't turn out very well. How uh, did you make it without blood orange? No, we had blood orange. I just didn't eat the blood orange. Oh. Uh, and we've tried several different blood orange uh, gins and probably vodkas, and I'm yeah. half and half on them. Sometimes they're okay. There's blood oranges, like seltzer, mm -hmm. cocktail thing, drinky things. 
Yeah, I did try a cocktail in London last time I was there with a fever tree um, blood orange flavor, and it was really good. Did you get a fever? No. It was a fever from more It was more fever cowboy. tree uh, uh, soda or whatever it's called. It smells really good. It actually tastes pretty, pretty it's good to me. It's sweet. Mm-hmm. Tastes good. It's got a little bit of the bitter aftertaste. Yes, just a little bit. The scene of that other um, beef eater was down there. It might be at Alex's house. It's weird. Bramble, the beef eater Bramble. That's it. Did not like it. Brambleberry. Actually, this isn't too bad. Of course, I'm not one to drink gin straight. I always have to have it in some sort of cocktail. I would think, like, to me, if you did, like, a half regular and half this martini, that would be really mm -hmm. good. Yeah, I don't know. With a twist of orange in there. We'll uh, start doing some cocktails with this now that we've reviewed it. We tend to try to wait to do other things with stuff before we review it, but I actually like this and I don't know. Cody? Cody gives it a thumbs up. Other person? Other person? Thumbs up? <laughs> Everybody's giving it a thumbs up. Uh, tell us what you think about the blood orange. Uh, beef eater any other beef or blood orange uh, gin out there that we should try we have a review for Malfi, which I don't think uh, Some of us liked I thought it was okay, but most of us didn't like it um, Tells me <laughs> Cody's like no uh, But let us know about any other blood orange that we should try uh, gin and possibly vodka um, What's your favorite beef eaters if it's not one of these that we've already done? We'll give it a try if we can find it uh, what's your favorite gin? That's always good to know. That's depends on the hard one. That's a hard one. So, yeah, check that all out. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok, as well as all of our merchandise. And I hope you have a fabulous Monday. Uh, I'm on spring break, so we pre-recorded this early. I'm traveling to a couple of distilleries and hopefully to bring some stuff back to you. But I hope you have a great week, and we'll see you tomorrow for whiskey. Cheers. Laters.